traveling angels stopped at a wealthy family's house for a night. Hello everyone. Introducing myself as the chief angel of Malibu. We would be really pleasured if you let us stay one night at your mansion's guest room. Whoever you are, it's not worth giving you our guest room. You will make it dirty. But it's just for one night, dear. You would be filled with blessings if you let us stay one night. See, we don't need any blessings. We are already blessed by God. So you may just leave now. Yeah, you should leave. You are not okay for to stay at our mansion's guest house even. Oh, little kid, you shouldn't talk like that to elders. Oh my god, my daughter! How dare you touch my daughter? And who are you to teach her what she should say and not? We are already there to teach her things. Yeah, but I didn't mean that. Okay, okay, no more drama. I know you're not gonna leave here until we let you stay for one night. So just stay in this cold basement. Yeah, you're right. They're not gonna leave until we let them stay. You guys stay in this cold basement. We are going. Um, wait, what now? It would be really good if you'd give us a little food. We're really hungry. Oh my god, they're asking one after another? Sorry, but we don't have enough food to share with you guys. You can do whatever you want tonight, but there's no food for you. We're just gonna send some blankets so that you just can cover yourself somehow. Okay, now good night. Oh, I'm so hungry. It's okay, dear. We will manage. <laughs> How rude these people are. Nothing to say. Just let's go to sleep now. Yes. Hmm, there is a hole in that furniture. Let's see. Great. Let's repair it. Done. Why did you repair it? Things aren't always what they seem. The next night, the pair came to rest at the house of a very poor but very hospitable farmer and his wife. After sharing what little food they had, the couple let the angels sleep in their bed where they could have a good night's rest. When the sun came up the next morning, the angels found the farmer and his wife in tears. Their only cow, whose milk had been their sole income, lay dead in the field. The younger angel, who was infuriated, asked the older angel, How could you have let this happen? The first man had everything, yet you helped him. The second family had little but was willing to share everything and you let their cow die? Things aren't always what they seem. The older angel replied, When we stayed in the basement of the mansion, I noticed there was gold stored in that hole in the furniture. Since the owner was so obsessed with greed and unwilling to share his good fortune, I sealed the wall so he wouldn't find it. Then last night, as we slept in the farmer's bed, the angel of death came for his wife. I gave her the cow instead. Things aren't always what they seem. The end. <laughs>